Hi, in this video we're going to show you what happens when you create a Windows 11 virtual machine in VMware Workstation and then go back and remove the TPM and also the encryption. Uh, you might want to do this because when it's encrypted you can't access you know, your VMX file and edit it if needed. And also when you want to, let's say, remove a hard drive, you have to decrypt the VM before it lets you remove it. So that's kind of a pain because that could take a long time to do and then you have to re-encrypt it and that's a whole scenario. So we're going to create a Windows 11 VM here real quick and then we'll uh, take off the encryption and TPM and see what happens. So if you haven't used 17 yet, you'll see the new way that you do uh, Windows 11. So now, since it read Windows 11 ISO, it wants to encrypt the files and then also add a TPM, so we'll do that. You could probably, you know, pick Windows 10 for the operating system type, and then, you know, if you have an ISO file that bypasses the encryption, you could do it that way. Or install the operating system later. Okay, so we'll wait to power it on and then we'll install Windows, but then, you know, during the Windows installation, I'll pause it because you don't need to see that. I'm sure you've installed Windows a million times by now. Okay, so I'll pause the video and then I'll finish doing the installation and be right back. Okay, so Windows is installed. We got VMware tools installed and running and we're logged in. So now let's go remove the TPM and encryption. So you go to the settings. So if you try and remove the encryption, you can't do it with the TPM installed. So you have to get rid of the TPM first. So let's remove this. And you can't do it until it's powered off. So we're going to have to shut down. Okay, let's go back to the settings. Remove the TPM. So it says removing TPM will render all encrypted data on this VM unrecoverable. Okay, now we'll go to the access control, remove encryption, put in the password. And sometimes this takes a while, sometimes it's quick. So it usually takes a while, even though this is a new VM. So I'll pause it and be back when this is done. Okay, so encryption has been removed. TPM has been removed. So let's start it up and see what happens. All right, so one thing you might notice when you do this is something happened in your pen isn't available. So I think it detected some kind of hardware change, thinking it might be a different computer. So you just have to go through this motion here to set up the pen. Okay, so it just wants the password for your Microsoft account. Now it's going to send you a code to the email address for your Microsoft account. So I'll pause the video and go get that code and be right back. Okay, so we got the code. Now we're going to create a new pin. You could use the same pin as you did before. All right, so we're up and running with no TPM and no encryption. So I opened up the uh, folder for the virtual machine here. So if you go to the VMX file and open it, say with Notepad, now you can see 
that you could access it and edit it as needed, which you couldn't do before. So, so far it seems to work. Um, I haven't been using this long term after removing the uh, TPM and encryption, but it doesn't seem to have any negative side effects. So give it a shot and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <music> you.